Hello and welcome back to Dukascopy TV. I'm Natalie MacDonald. Next up in the studio is Randy Grobman of IDO. Randy, thank you so much for coming in today. Well, thank you for inviting me, Natalie. Now, in what is a particularly interesting time for emerging markets and particularly investors looking to expand into this sector, can you talk us through the work that IDO does with MEGA? I'd be delighted. Well, my company, IDO, International Development Opportunities, is an authorized agent for MEGA. That means we're not on the staff of MEGA, and so technically I cannot pretend to speak on behalf of MEGA on an official basis, but I can speak about my work with MEGA and IDO's uh, cooperation with MEGA for quite a few years now, and we have uh, had quite some success helping companies, private companies, to obtain MEGA guarantees, which means political risk insurance, from MEGA, which stands for the Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency, which is part of the World Bank Group, headquartered in Washington, D.C. And we are actually working with a lot of companies in the Europe region and outside of Europe as well. And we inform the companies of the benefits of having MEGA to protect their investments, either debt or equity, in emerging markets and developing countries. And we work a lot with the operations department in MEGA and the various sectors, the various industries. Uh, that means we are working on projects in many different sectors, such as infrastructure, water supply, sanitation, energy, telecommunications, the financial sector, of course, and, uh, and several others, which I may say a bit more about later. Now, part of MEGA's mission is to promote foreign direct investment in developing nations. Talk us through some of the successes that you've seen in this area. Well, to date, which means in the last 25 years, MEGA has supported more than 700 projects around the world and has actually provided guarantees for more than 30 billion US dollars worth of investments. Those guarantees uh, are in all parts of the world, Africa, Asia, Latin America and the Caribbean, Eastern and Central Europe and the Middle East. And MEGA is um, increasing its role in development in foreign direct investment each year. The year that just finished which on June 30th, which was fiscal year 2013 in the World Bank where it's fiscal year July 1 to June 30. So fiscal year 2013, which ended on June 30th, 2013, uh, MEGA offered guarantees in support of 2.8 billion US dollars worth of projects. Uh, it was 32 separate projects in various sectors in all the regions that I just named previously. There has been a tremendous growth in Sub-Saharan Africa. 54% of the amount that MEGA covered in fiscal year 2013 was for projects in Sub-Saharan Africa. There has also been an increase in the past year in the Asia-Pacific region. So I would say a lot of the successes uh, can be viewed in terms of companies that might not otherwise have invested in Africa, Asia, Eastern and Central Europe, the Middle East or Latin America. With MEGA, they feel a level of comfort that enables them to make the decision to go forward with an equity investment or a loan. Um, and they therefore are promoting investment and helping those countries develop um, with a MEGA guarantee as an insurance. Now with reward, there is always some risk element. Talk us through the risks facing companies looking to expand into emerging markets. And similarly, how does MEGA seek to protect these companies? Well, the risks, MEGA covers five different risks. And I would say they're quite typical risks that most companies are familiar with in terms of political risks. MEGA does not provide uh, commercial risk insurance. That is for other agencies or companies to provide. MEGA is mandated as part of the World Bank to provide an insurance for political risks. So examples would be currency inconvertibility, 
a company's inability to transfer the money from local currency into hard currency such as euros or US dollars or Swiss francs, or transfer restriction, which is when a company is prevented from transferring funds from one country to another. So MEGA is always covering cross-border transactions, and one of the risks that can be covered by MEGA is the ability of a company to repatriate its funds back. Another risk is expropriation, often called nationalization. And there have, of course, been in recent years some serious cases in the world um, where there have been expropriatory actions taken by governments, and MEGA offers a protection against expropriation, as well as protection against war, civil disturbance, including terrorism. I would highlight for the breach of contract coverage, that is specifically designed to protect companies that have a contract with the government, and therefore if the government does not meet its payment obligations or other obligations under that contract, then the MEGA policy is, is what is used by that company to have leverage to ensure that the conditions of the contract are met. And in cases where something seems to be going in the wrong direction, MEGA has a team of arbitrators, lawyers, and is very, very, very skilled at dispute resolution and at avoiding problems before they even begin. It's very important to realize that in the history of 25 years since MEGA started in 1988, there have only been six claims paid by MEGA. And this is not because MEGA refuses to pay claims. This is because MEGA and the clients have been able to work together to find solutions that have avoided claim situations. What regions then or industries within emerging markets would you encourage Ducascopy TV viewers to, to consider within their portfolio? Well, in terms of regions, I think I, I named the regions earlier, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, North Africa, the Middle East, Asia Pacific region, uh, Europe, meaning Central and Eastern Europe. We cannot cover projects that are in OECD member countries, but Eastern and Central Europe, or uh, countries in the Latin America and Caribbean region, and uh, the Middle East, uh, of course, is very big in the news these days, and MEGA has been covering, even in the past year, quite a few projects. In fact, in the last uh, fiscal year, MEGA covered projects in both Egypt and Libya. Randy, thank you so much for your comments today. Really appreciate you coming into the studio. Thank you very much, Natalie. It was a pleasure to be here. That's all we've got time for right now, but don't go away. We'll be back shortly with plenty more exclusive interviews for you. Goodbye for now. Oh, <laughs> oh,